Oh my God! You know, I blow my horn or something like that, you know, try to get the attention. Oh. Oh. You have to lose somebody you love. A desperate call to break for buses tonight. Good evening. I'm Sean Maroney. And I'm Melanie Sanders. Thanks for joining us. It's a tragedy that's caught the eye of millions from our Facebook page, School Bus Stop Tragedies. Tens of thousands of you have interacted with us on social media all over the startling number of drivers who illegally pass school buses. WNCN investigates Jonathan Rodriguez has taken this issue head on, joins us now live tonight at the Wake County Schools headquarters. Jonathan? Yeah, Sean Melanie, good evening. This is a message we truly cannot share enough. Too many kids in our state have died simply trying to get to and from school from drivers who illegally pass these stop arms. In fact, the number of times it happens every day in our state may shock you. It's a law that's broken in nearly every county every single day. Over 3,000 cars per day in North Carolina pass a stop school bus illegally while it's stopped to pick up kids. What we see in these videos is what our bus drivers have seen for years. Have you seen some pretty close calls? Uh, yeah, yeah. And with more than 800,000 kids across our state relying on these buses, the danger is very real. The biggest safety problem for kids is not on the school bus itself, but it's getting on and off the bus. You'd think it'd be hard to miss a giant yellow bus, but the sad truth is since 1999, 13 children have died simply trying to get to and from their school. And one of those children was seven-year-old Aaliyah Morgan. It was right here on Highway 421, spring of last year. She was getting off the school bus. The lights were flashing. The stop sign was out when Highway Patrol says a log truck, similar to that one right there, went right through the stop sign, hitting Aaliyah, sending her to the hospital, where she later died. She was a tomboy when she wanted to be a tomboy. She was a princess when she wanted to be a princess. Memories of Aaliyah's contagious smile and her eyes that could light up a room are things her Aunt Rosabelle keeps close to her heart. It's terrible that you have to lose somebody you love. <laughs> from For something so senseless that this person was in a rush. Well, that person wasn't paying attention. The driver in this case was charged with involuntary manslaughter and DWI, but it's cases like these that are far too common. And with new technology, the proof is undeniable. The cameras are rolling at every bus stop. A pilot program funded by the state has equipped more than 400 buses with new camera systems that catch images of a violator's car, the driver, and their license plate, a task that used to be left up to the bus driver. You know, I blow my horn or something like that, you know, try to get the attention, but you know, they, they, you know, they already don't flew by. Thomas Cooper has been behind the wheel of a school bus for four years. It's just dangerous, really. A lot of times, places where we have to stop, they have to cross the street. So I got to uh, constantly keep my eye on the child and the traffic. The rules for when you can and can't pass a school bus are simple. Anytime you're behind the bus and the stop arm comes out, you always have to stop. If you're driving in the opposite direction of the bus, you also have to stop, except for these two situations. If you're on a four lane highway divided by a median, or if you're driving on a road with four or more lanes with a center turn lane and your cue is the lights, the bus will always flash its yellow lights first, indicating it's about to stop. Unfortunately, we have this mindset. You go through an intersection and the traffic signal, red, yellow, green, and yellow to too many people means hurry up. Yellow means caution. And on, on the school bus, my goodness, that's where you have to be cautious because you know the bus is getting ready to stop. That means there's kids around. WNCN investigates took our cameras out to see for ourselves and within minutes we witness violators. Watch this one. The bus stops, lights on, stop arm out. The doors open, but then this convertible comes blazing through at full speed. We would love to have the situation where the cameras are not even needed because people are doing what they're supposed to do. But until that happens, then we're going to take the evidence off of these cameras to give law enforcement a tool to use to make sure that the motoring public pays attention or pays up. I mean, if you're going to find them, find them. 
find them enough where there, it's going to make a difference. For Roosevelt, it's a call for stricter laws. And since 2001, lawmakers have been working on doing just that. The latest change is coming in 2012. It was increased to $500. It's five points on your driver's license. And it gets even worse if you were to strike or even kill a child. We're talking felonies. Several people could have prevented this. And that's all I'm asking is that people take notice. So let's talk solutions. Part of it is making sure your kids are paying attention as they cross. Until we reach the point that every vehicle is going to stop, you have to be vigilant. No earbuds in, no texting when you're crossing the road. Although for the little kids, it's not always easy. Our camera saw these children darting across the street without a single glance. A lot of times they're sleepy, they want to eat, all, you know, all type of situations like this. But bus drivers and parents must also help guide students when it's safe to cross. Have an extra person on the bus. Have a monitor. If they're just off the bus and gone, how, how can you stop them if you had to? You can't. And finally, drivers. You can't legislate common sense or common courtesy, but the solution is simple. Pay attention around the school bus. It's Aaliyah's story that pushes Roosevelt to push for change. I challenge every single person that has a driver's license to watch for these babies because you could prevent what we're going through. And it ain't no joke. We go through this every day. Every day that drivers have a choice that could save a life. Let's make changes to save somebody else's job. So what can we do right now to make a difference? Well, it's simple, just spread the word. We have loaded our website with all kinds of information, the bus safety rules, more about the camera systems, where you can report violators. And all we're asking is that you spread the word. Simply send out a reminder, especially if you're on social media, get on Facebook, get on Twitter, use the hashtag break for buses. In fact, I'm gonna do mine right now. I've just tweeted that out. It's really that simple, hashtag break for buses. Talk to your family, talk to your friends, talk to your kids, a simple reminder that could save a life. We're live in Wake County. Jonathan Rodriguez, WNCN News. And yeah. as a mom, I tell you what, watching Aaliyah's story is heartbreaking. Yeah, definitely spread the word. Jonathan, mm -hmm. thank you.